Hi, it's Raul from r, r Aquatics. Welcome to my fish room. If you like what you see today, you can please subscribe. It helps me out a lot in this channel. Uh, we're going to be speaking today about African cichlids coexisting with hybrids, such as parrotfish, flower horns, polar blues, a few different kind of catfish. There's a yo-yo, a few yo-yo cats in here, butterfly placo. No one actually is a fin nipper in this aquarium. They, they all respect each other, respect their boundaries. The only time that they come together as a, as a whole is during feeding time. They all come together without waiting for food, without even acknowledging who they are or what they are, you know, how aggressive they are. They don't pick on each other. And we can, we, you know, I like to talk about how the aquarium hobby is, has been an influence on me. I've been doing this over 40 years. Um, it has helped me a lot during time. It, it settles your mind. I've been getting more into this thing now due, due to the pandemic and uh, staying at home. I increased my tanks. Uh, I got an extra five tanks more than what I, what I had before. And I've been, breeding, uh, I've been breeding these fish just to keep me amused, to keep me going and uh, showing how easy it would be for an average person to enjoy the hobby and maybe today a little boy came over from school with my grandson and he um he enjoyed it i bet you he's a future fish boy he's going to be someone to look out for because he he told his father that he wanted a tank and he doesn't want a small tank he wants a big tank so here we are at the aquarium uh, how i have these africans mixed with the hybrids um i have some zebras in here some yellow labs that I've bred to. I might see a baby here and there from the yellow labs. Some flower horns, some parrots. Parrots, I'm, I'm breeding as we speak, parrots now. I have a pair that, that have been very feisty, so I, I've moved them over and they have started to create a nest here. I guess they'll lay their eggs inside this um, flower pot. I'm trying to see males over here is camera shy. Females behind the pot, she's camera shy. And from the polar blues, here's a big male that I have from, he's a dad with this female here. I love the way they finish. Uh, he starts off with a blue underneath him and ends up with a red tail. And the female has a lot of nice colors to her too. And uh, we got our yo-yo loaches in here. They're from India. So I got like a melting pot here of different fish. You know, I like to call this tank maybe New York because it's got a whole bunch of different people and uh, everybody's coexisting during this pandemic time. I'll show you some of, some of his, his offsprings, how they look. And here we got them here. Some of the babies from the Polar Blues mixed in with a few soy tails because I'm a real big fan of, um, as you'll see on my channel, I'm a real big fan of live bearers. This tank here I dedicated to my wife. So she decorated it and uh, has it, you know, going. And we'll see how we turn out. If you like the contents, Here's my red-tailed shark, even a red-tailed shark I have in here, and he's beautiful. He's surviving with these killers because I know he's a shark, but he's not as aggressive as the guys that he's with. If you like what you see and you like the contents, I'll be talking a lot about live bearers. Um, you know, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. I like, you know, in, I had encouragement watching a whole bunch of videos during this time, during the pandemic. I've had... Um, I've been watching a lot of Fish Boy, Jarrett's Aquatics, Michael's Fish Room, and of course the legend Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Uh, I've learned a, a lot of different things from him during the times too. Corey has been very helpful in a lot of stuff that I've been dealing with. Like I had ick and I was dealing with a bad case of ick and um, listening to him helped me out a lot, you know. 
and his um, quarantining fish. I quarantine ever since I lost a lot of fish like everybody does. We all lose fish in this hobby, but if you can do the preventive maintenance and quarantine these guys for at least a good week or two, it really, really, really helps. This way, when you put your fish into your new aquarium, you have nothing to worry about. No parasites, no fungals, and definitely no ick, which has been a, a big negative towards me. I think it was during the air conditioning during the summertime. I, I don't want to blame my local fish stores, but uh, because they're not going to give me credit for it, I just have to suck it up and continue living and keep going and trying to um, make it happen. But then again, if you like what you're seeing, you let me know. Subscribe to my channel. This is Raul saying goodbye. I hope you guys have a blessed day. R&R Aquatics, have a good day. Bye-bye.